Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This match is the second match between Future and Fnatic F91. So, upper right-hand corner we have Future starting as the Teal Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner we have F91 as the Purple Zerg. And if it's, if game one is any indication, we're going to see a pretty fun match right here. Although the opening game is going to have to be a little bit more uh, stereotypical because it is on Blue Storm. You can see what I was saying actually in game one about Future being a little bit more risky. He went for that... Uh, early, uh, not early, he went for the Zealot speed with Corsair, he was hoping not to run into Lurkers. F91 was prepared with the Lurkers, but if not, that could have been a very, very successful for him. Unfortunately, yeah, kind of ended up paying for him, ended up falling behind economically F91 on that tech shift at the end uh, to finish it, but Future put up an excellent fight, in my opinion. This is going to be on Blue Storm, and why I say we're going to see a standard opening is just a two-gate zealot on this map is very, very difficult, because you've got this big opening gap right here uh, for Zerglings to run through. It looks like he's setting up a pylon to get that forge and cannons down. And you've got this little gap right here. Zerglings can get through, uh, zealots can get through, smaller units can get through, but it's a lot more difficult for larger units like Dragoons to get through and things like that. Uh, there, here's the mineral only, which uh, is mirrored on both sides. There's also expansions in the bottom right and upper left-hand corners, and also at the 12 and 6 o'clock locations. And for Proton, actually these are good expansions because you can get the pylons down get some cans behind it and it creates a little bit of a blockade against circlings and things Anyway, it looks like we're going to see uh, an overpool build from F91, and this tends to be kind of the du jour uh, build these days. It's very popular for Zerg uh, at this stage of uh, kind of play, kind of the metagame uh, at this stage. Anyway, it looks like the scout's going to be out, and what this forces the Protoss to do is you got to get cannons down before you put your Nexus down on the front. Future a little bit late, and I think he might have uh, tried to build a little bit too soon and then sent that probe off. He's still going to be okay because it's an overpool, not a nine pool. Uh, but yeah, he needs to get that forge down and at least up cannon up to fight this off I'm just trying to run up and being it looks like a little bit too pesky with that drone but off the overpool especially if you drop speed it doesn't look like he's gonna put any additional gas down uh, trying to wants to get that second expansion up a little bit faster and future running out there to try to engage him uh, just wants to lay it as long as possible uh, and needs to be yeah doing a good job of it actually so you can see that drone a, a little bit frustrated now actually gonna engage an attack Future's gonna have to back off though because he wasn't at full health and so yeah just two health left but able to delay that hatchery for for quite a while but really the point of this build is to deny the scout, to kill the scout as quickly as possible and leave your opponent in the dark and to keep him in the dark for the rest of the game. And it looks like still no gas here from F91 and he's uh, that's an additional drone so he's not going to go with the 8 circling. He's very quickly able to keep, uh, kill future scout. That's actually going to hurt future early and these cannons coming somewhat late so he's going to need to, uh, fortunately there will be this gap blockade and maybe if he can uh, bring that, that probe along he can uh, force, uh, yeah he's bringing that out actually for the scouting purposes. He's got that second drone needs to bring that drone to block this door because first of all and maybe some other drones to, to prevent the run through he is bringing two more drones off the line to create probably to get right along there maybe to to prevent that run by yeah getting him right in position but it looks like yeah the zergling is going to hold up short they're really more interested in that second scout that's been put out for future in that upper left hand corner and future is going to want to bring that scout around this is the kind of the information denial phase he doesn't know what's going on inside f91's base and he really 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 wants to know zergling's being brought around good anticipation skills to to uh assume that the, and a single Zergling actually coming back around. Now you can see them just kind of jumping on this probe, wants to engage it. He's But the Future got the information he wanted. He's seeing that third hatchery going up, so he knows he's going up against some form of three hatchery build. He knows he's not going up against uh, a more cheesy build, and he's still going to lose that probe scout, but that's exactly what he wanted to know. Gas now going up for F91. Otherwise, uh, a gateway on the front door for Future. He's still got the probes in position to deny any sort of run by, and uh, his Nexus coming up. And because, again, because of that overpool build, a little bit more delayed on this nexus because those zerglings are still threatening on the front door uh, and those cannons still have to go down you don't you generally don't want to cancel them but at the same time ooh, running into a little bit of a supply cap here uh, now getting that uh, that pylon down be able to proceed as normal here which is pretty normal see if he transfers his probes well uh, I'm dredging you now future judging you uh, you're going to transfer your probes? You're going to do it? He's also putting a cannon in the back line. Looks like he's anticipating more of a mutalisk attack off three bases rather than uh, something else. And yeah, quite a bit late actually on his probe transfer. Uh, and some zerglings coming up into position. There is a probe blockade right there. And now it looks like he does have one probe on the secondary, now transferring his probes. It's not going to hurt him all that much, honestly. Cybernetics core going up, uh, and it, we'll see if he, there is the tech to layer, and if we're going to see in just a minute here, once we get to the halfway point, whether he's going with Hydralisks or Mutalisks. And it looks like Future is thinking Mutalisks at this stage. That's why you put that cannon in the back. Usually if you're going against Hydralisks, you want more on your front door rather than uh, kind of on that back line. Zergling's kind of uh, pushing through, might be able to get a hit, uh, and that's going to force Future to kind of mine from the top. They are at that top location 
and protected with that cannon, another cannon going up uh, on the line. I don't think that's a cannon Future really wanted to put down at this stage. And as the Zerglings, <laughs> as Zerglings pushing out, he's going to wait for probably a second Zealot. Yeah, actually, he's going to use that first Zealot to try to push these Zerglings back. Might get a no, nope, not able to get a kill there. So. We'll see what Techie's going. Uh, these cannons delaying a little bit because of that mineral cost, really. Planting cannons earlier and more plentiful than he really wanted to at this stage. Uh, and it doesn't look like we're seeing a den, so it is going to be Spire the Lair's uh, finish. So it uh, looks like guessing right, but a fourth hatchery going down. So a four, uh, four hatchery Mutalisk build here. Uh, so three cannons, I'm sorry, two cannons already positioned. Third cannon going to assist against the Mutalisks. A little bit off. Usually you want them a little bit more towards the mineral line, but this assists against both Mutalisks and Hydalisks at this stage. Keep in mind, Future does not know what's going on at this stage. He doesn't know what he's going up against, but he's going to want about two more cannons in his back probe line to prevent the Mutalisks from really getting doing a lot of damage back here. Getting that Stargate up now. He might wait a little bit, though. It looks like he tried to push out. He's got four kills with that single Zealot. That Zealot's probably going to get taken out. Uh, actually, no, able to run it off with just six health, three health, and then it's getting taken out right there.